During one of my class in algebra, I discussed four methods of solving quadratic equations. And we successfully done the factorization method, the completing of the square method. But now we are going on how to use formula method to solve quadratic equation. Now, before I go to formula method, I would like to show you how to use completing of the square method to derive the formula which we will be using to solve quadratic equation. Now, supposing we are given Supposing we are given a s squared plus b x plus c is equal to zero. Before we proceed, we look at the coefficient of s squared. Whatever number it is, then we use it to divide all the terms all through. So in this case, we are having the coefficient of our s squared as a. Therefore, we divide all the non all the terms by k. Therefore, we have s squared plus b over a x plus c is equal to 0. And if we look at the coefficient of x, we are having the coefficient of x now as this is c over a. And we are having the coefficient of our x now as b all over a. And if you can recollect, the general terms of writing the incomplete quadratic expression in the complete form is as if you are given s squared plus a x then you can write it as x plus plus p squared minus q and i told you that if you expand this and you equate the like terms therefore you have your p as equal to a over 2 while your q which is equal to p squared as a over 2 then you square now in this case what we now need to do if we substitute this one into this one then we have x plus what is our p a over 2 square minus what is our q a over 2 square now, in this case now, in this case, let us concentrate on this one. Therefore, this one is now like this one. Now, in this case, the coefficient of our x is equal to, the coefficient of our x is equal to b over a. And if you notice what is here, the value of our p is half of the coefficient of a. Our q is half of the coefficient of a, then we square. So in this case now, the coefficient of our x is equal to b over a, which is this one. And what will be the value of our p in this case? The value of our p will be equal to b half of this one will be 2, b over 2, a. And our q will equal to b over 2, a, then we square. Therefore, to write this expression from here to this side in a complete form, then we have s squared, we have x plus our p, which is here, which is p, b over 2a, everything squared minus our q. What is our q? b over 2a, then we square. Then, what is the constant you are having here? Plus c over a. Everything equal to zero. Now, we have x plus b over 2a squared 
minus, if we open the bracket, we have b squared minus 4a squared plus c over a equal to 0. Now, the next thing here is to rearrange. How do we rearrange? We move all the number with constant without x to the other side. Why we retain the one with x to this side? Therefore, we have x plus b over 2a squared equal to, if we move this one to this side, we have, if we move this one to this side, we have b squared over 4a squared. You know, when this one moves to this side, that is, is just as if we are adding, because this one is negative, we are adding b squared over 4a squared to both sides. Therefore, this one, as this one gets to this side, this one will change to positive. You know, if we add this one to both sides, this one will be minus b squared plus 4a plus this and plus the other side. So that minus and minus will cancel each other. Therefore, this when this one gets to this side, it becomes what? Minus, minus c over a. Therefore, we have x plus b over 2a bracket equal to, what is the HCM of this? Our HCM is 4a squared. 4a squared goes in 4a squared, one time, times the numerator, which is b squared. We have b squared minus 4a goes in 4a squared in 4a times, 4a times c. This one will give us 4ac. Now, the next thing is to square both sides. So that we have, we have x plus b over 2a square equal to b square minus 4ac over 4a square. Now, square both sides. Then, when we square both sides, we introduce plus or minus sign here. Therefore, square will cancel square. Square root will cancel square. Therefore, we have square root will cancel square. How does square root cancel square? Whenever you are having root a square, you know your root is raised to power half, which is a over 2 times half. This two will cancel two, then we have a. So that is exactly what happened here. Therefore, we have x plus b over 2a squared equal to plus or minus root b square minus 4ac over 4ac over what is the square root of 4? 2. What is the square root of a square? a. So that we have x. Okay, sorry, we are not adding any square here again because the square has already cancelled here. So that we have x equal to, now move this one to this side. When this one gets to this side, it becomes what? This is it. x plus b over 2b equal to this. Now, the next thing is to now rearrange again so that we retain x here and we remove this constant to this side. So that when it gets to this side, it becomes what? Minus. If it's plus here, then it becomes minus. So that we have minus b over 2b plus or minus b square minus 4ac over 2a. Now, our head equal to, let us find the SCM. Our SCM is equal to 2a. So it goes in 2a. One times, one times b minus b plus or minus 2a goes in 2a. One times, times the numerator. b square minus 4 a, C. Now, this is the formula we will be using to solve quadratic equation using formula method. Now, whenever we are given any question, 
in quadratic equation. What we just need to do is to write this formula out and apply them accordingly. How do we do that? Let me show you one example on how to use this formula to solve a quadratic equation using this particular formula, which is formula method. Now, supposing we are given x minus 2x minus 35 equal to 0. Now, assuming you are given this type of equation, now how do we apply our formula? Now, the first one, if you, if you compare it with this, if you compare this one with ax squared, minus b x plus c equal to zero now if we compare this one to this one we will discover that our a is equal to one our b is equal to minus two and our c is equal to minus 35 now our a is equal to one b is equal to minus two and c is equal to minus 35. Now, the next thing is now to substitute them into the formula. And our formula is equal to minus b plus plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, what is our b? Our b is minus 2, that is minus minus 2 plus or minus minus 2 squared minus 4. What is our A? 1. What is our C? Minus 35 over 2. What is our A? 1. So that we have minus times minus. Or minus, minus minus 2 squared. This will give us 4. Minus, minus times minus will give us plus. 4 times 35. This one will give us. 140. This one will give us 140 all over 2. Therefore, we have x plus or minus 4 plus 140. This one will give us 144 over 2. So, this one we have 2 plus or minus plus or minus square root of 144. Square root of 144 will be 12 all over 2. Therefore, 2 plus 12 we have 14. We have, so it now becomes 2 plus 12 over 2 or 2 minus 12 over 2. Therefore, we have 14 over 2 or minus 10 over 2. Now, what will be our final answer? This one will give us 7 or minus 5. Therefore, the value for our hex is equal to minus 7, uh, is equal to 7 or minus 5. Now, for more details, let us look at one more example before we go. Now, let us, let us look at this one. The first one we did, the coefficient of x squared is 1. But in this case, we are having the coefficient of our x squared as 2. How do we solve this? Just the same method. It's as simple as ABC. Now, 
if you compare it with the general form of quadratic equation, which is a x squared plus b x plus c equal to zero. Therefore, our a will be equal to what we have here two. Our b will be equal to what we have here three, and our c will be equal to what we have here minus twenty seven. Therefore, we have. In uh, the general formula is equal to s equal to minus b plus or minus b square minus 4ac all over 2a. Therefore, what is our b? Our b is 3. Minus 3 plus or minus 3 square minus 4. What is our a? 2. 2. And what is our c? Minus 27. All over 2, 2. Therefore, our head is equal to minus 3 plus or minus. This one will give us 9. Minus, minus times minus here. Then we will give us plus. Therefore, we have 8. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 27. Times 27 will give us now if we multiply them together Now, now, as you can see, if we multiply everything we have here together, then we have 216. That is, 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 27 give us 216. 2 times 2 give us 4. Therefore, we have x equal to minus 3 plus or minus root 9 plus 216 this one will give us 225 all over 4 then what is the square root of 225 the square root of 225 will be the square root of 225 will be 15 so that we have 15 all over 4 we have minus 3 minus plus 15 over 4 or minus 3 minus 15 over 4. Therefore, we have minus 3 plus 15. We have 12 over 4 or minus 18 over 4. Therefore, 12 and 2 in 12, 4 goes in 12 3 times or Here, 2, 2 here, 9, minus 9 over 2. Therefore, we have 3 or minus 4 and in half. Now, this, this is just the simple way. How to use this is just the simple way to use quadratic formula to solve quadratic equation. Please subscribe to this channel so that you will be able to be notified whenever new video is updated. Thank you.